the next kind of enzyme regulation is called covalent modification and that's also extremely extremely important half of the enzymes we cover are subject to covalent modification so I want you to understand the term you are the reason it's called covalent modification you are creating a new covalent bond to the enzyme typically that covalent bond the most common type is the addition of a phosphate that phosphate typically comes from ATP and you need an enzyme to add that so you need a protein kinase okay that's the class of enzymes I mentioned in the beginning of this chapter okay so I want you to think about your you're taking an enzyme you're going to modify the R groups of the amino acids in that enzyme what are the R groups that can be modified let's say that can you, know, you can add phosphate to okay good nice okay good so hydroxyl group serine can become phosphoserine threonine can become phosphothreonine uh, or tyrosine the outcome of that typically can be either to activate an enzyme or depending on the identity of the enzyme it can inhibit certain enzymes so covalent modification is extremely um, an um, extremely important regulatory mechanism <clears throat> so and the most common one is phosphorylation there are other forms of co covalent modification that means you add a different group but phosphorylation is the most uh, one of the most important ones <clears throat> now the reverse is true if an enzyme is in the phospho state phosphoserine and you remove that phosphate you are breaking a covalent bond so that's still called called covalent modification okay so either way it's called covalent whether you're adding a phosphate or removing a phosphate if you like this video please subscribe thank you